Hi, my name is Sam Dhanishakaran and welcome to this database lessons video series. In this video, let me try to explain the basics of computing in a very simple way. Computing itself is a vast subject, but let me try to simplify it as much as possible. The hard disk of a PC contains all the softwares that are installed in that PC. This includes the operating system too. Okay. Examples of PC operating systems are Windows 10, Mac OS, Linux, Unix, etc. When you start a PC, the OS, that is the operating system, gets loaded into the memory. Why? All the computing happens only in the memory and not directly in the disk devices. Disk devices are only used for storage and retrieval. Okay, so it can store an OS and softwares such as Microsoft Office as well as some temporary files which are pushed out of the memory to the disk. So now I have the OS loaded in the memory. Now I have a program called Microsoft Excel installed in the disk and I run it. What will happen? The OES copies the Microsoft Excel's executable files into the memory and runs them. Okay, currently it's running in the memory. During the execution, it allocates additional memory for it to work with its data, which includes spreadsheet files. Now, let us assume that I also have an accounting software in my PC and I run it simultaneously. Same thing would happen and it will run in its own memory area, right? Now, I want this Excel to access the data belonging to this accounting software. What can I do? Can I make Excel to directly access this accounting software's memory? No, the operating system will not allow me to do that because these memory structures or these memory areas are protected by the operating system. So what shall I do? I can use some kind of inter-process communication architecture and using the OS, I can make both the processes communicate. In that case, the information from the memory area of the accounting software will be sent to the OS. The OS will send the information to Microsoft Excel program. So the path taken is kind of long. Is there a way for MS Excel to access the accounting software's memory area? If yes, then that would be faster, right? So is that possible? Yes. Many operating systems allow shared memory area, meaning that we can code the accounting software in such a way that it can be allowed by the OS to create shared memory segments and put the data that it wants to share in there. So with the right communication algorithm, Microsoft Excel can access this shared area and get what it wants directly. If needed in an advanced setup, the according software can allow Excel not only read but also write to it. It can also allow Excel to read 
data from a file and write it to the shared area. This sharing doesn't have to be limited to one process, which is Excel here, right? So more processes can be allowed to use this shared area. This is a basic computer science process. Thank you for watching.